Welcome to this new video in which I will show you how to retrieve functional free proxies. That is to say, retrieving proxies for free is not complicated. There are sites for that. However, obtaining functional free proxies at a given moment becomes a bit more complicated. First, the demo. I use a site that is very well known in the field to find free proxies, but it is not the only one. There are others. Then, I use a free online tool that allows me to test the validity of the proxies in question. The process continues until we find five. It's done. We have found our five proxies. Let's check right away. It took less than a minute, 51 seconds. Indeed, I have five proxies. If I use them now, I'm sure they will work. So I retrieve the protocol, the IP, and the port. Now, how does this template work? You'll see, it's very simple. It's always very fun with Automa. What am I actually doing? So I go to this site to retrieve the list of proxies that I want to test. I click here, which opens this window for me. I retrieve these values. So I basically copy them and save them in a variable. How does this translate into Automa? So here, basically, I've opened the site with a new tab block. I clicked on a button. There you go. So I clicked on that button. With a get text block, I successfully retrieved the necessary information that comes from this in order to. I stored it in a variable that I called proxies to use it later because what do I do next? I open that site just here. I enter the address that I want to test with these proxies. In my template, I have put my ip.org. I will replace google.com here with my ip.org. Next, I will paste the proxies retrieved earlier and stored in the variable proxies. I will start the process and then I will have the results appearing. How do I transpose this into Automa? Very simple. So new tab, I open a new tab, this one with the testing tool. There, I want to replace google.com with my ip.org. Here, it's a form, actually just a form field. So I use a forms block and I enter the URL that I want to replace. Then it's the same thing with the list of proxies. So the list of proxies, well, with a forms block, form field, I replace what I have here with my proxies. And then I clicked on start. So click block start, just like I did manually. From there, I set a delay of 10 seconds. This is what I wanted to set here with a timeout value of 10. So that means I will wait 10 seconds for the results to display. You can set it to 30, 60 more, whatever you want or less. For the demo, I set it to 10 seconds. And after approximately 10 seconds, I start a loop that will read each line of this table. And so on each line, I will focus on a particular column, the status column. And now I will check which lines have a status of OK. This means that the proxy is functional with a conditional block. So I will look to fulfill the condition that corresponds to the state of the proxy. And OK. So if I find the value OK in this column, I increment my variable proxies found, which I initially set to 0 to count the number of proxies found. Next, I retrieve the protocol used, HTTP, SOX5, etc., from the second column, which I record in the Automa table. The same goes for the IP, so with a get text block. I retrieve the first column which gives me the IP address plus the port, which I save in my Automa table. So the Automa table that I created at the very beginning here with two columns, IP protocol, gives me the result that I showed earlier. So here it is. After that, we can easily export in the desired format. So I will check if I have found all the desired proxies. Basically, I will simply compare two numbers, the number of proxies found, which I just incremented, with the number of proxies to find that I had set to 5. So basically, is the value greater than or equal to 5? If so, in that case, we close everything. The template is finished. If, on the other hand, we are not at 5, we reach the end of my loop, which means the end of reading the current line in this array. This is also the same as if, for example, I do not find the value OK in my status column. So what do I do? I skip all the steps I just described and go straight to the end of the loop, which allows me to move directly to the next line. So like this, 
line by line, tap, tap, tap. And each time we will check the status column. So if I reach the end of the table, I have read all my lines and I still do not have the desired number of proxies. What should I do? Well, I'm going to move on. Here, I'm incrementing the page number on the starting site. And so I'm starting again here. You see, actually, you see the connection there, the blue connection that goes directly there. So I'm going back to my site here and I'm going to change the page. I was on page three, for example. I moved to page four. And there, here we go again. I click here. I retrieve my copies. I will paste them here, etc. And you see, it will run automatically until I find the desired number of proxies. And in the end, we can very well imagine several things because here you see we have the IP address, colon, the port. If you want to dissociate the two, no problem. With dedicated blocks in Automa, you can separate the two pieces of information. And we can also automatically export this table in CSV format using dedicated blocks. Save it in a Google Sheet. There you go. You can do whatever you want with it. For the demo, I didn't do it, but it's very easily achievable. And so, as you must have seen, it remains really very simple and fun with Automa, since each action corresponds to a block. I open a new tab. I click on an element, any element. I have a click button. I retrieve text, get text block. I enter it in a form, forms block, and so on. I want to set a delay. I have a delay block. So, in a very simple and logical way, you connect all the blocks like this, and in no time, you can transcribe your manual actions into a robot that will automate everything for you. You can find this template in my Automa training, which will allow you to analyze and test it yourself. You didn't understand everything. That's normal, I assure you. It wasn't a training video, but a demonstration. Because the goal of my training is precisely to teach you progressively how to master Automa so that you can feel comfortable with all the templates. Did you like this video? Then don't hesitate to like it, comment on it, and share it. It's what motivates me to keep going. And if you have any template ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments. And of course, do not miss any future videos. Subscribe to my channel.